Good morning. It's, it might rain here sooner or later, but uh, everything is still nice and ashy on my garden. But hey, none of my kale leaves got eaten last night, so. Alright, for today, uh, I want to talk about my beans. Apparently, I messed up, and uh, when I bought the packages of beans from Tractor Supply, uh, I was hoping to get the, I thought I got the same kind last year because I, got, I bought a package last year and it said bush beans. And I just thought that meant it, it doesn't, it's not a climbing bean, it just kind of like bushes out and it's a bean, like green beans. And I thought that's what I bought. Apparently I didn't uh, because these aren't bush beans, I don't think. Because they are already taller than the bush beans I bought last year and from the looks of it they look like climbing beans to me like pole beans or whatever you call them so I didn't uh, I don't know about the green beans that I, I planted they still could be a bush bean but the Cherokee uh, yellow beans that I planted yeah they're climbers uh, they also said bush beans on on their package and but apparently I, I looked it up and I guess the Cherokee yellow, whatever, I forget the name of the package I bought. They're, they they climb, they get anywhere from six to eight feet tall. Just means I need to kind of think about what's going to happen here rapidly. Um, and I don't want to get caught without, uh, without being prepared. So I'm going to extend my trellis, the poles for my trellis. I'm just going to zip tie up longer posts and put cross members so it, it has a little bit of strength so yeah that's kind of what my focus on my video is going to be today um, I'm looking at this and this totally looks like it's a climber and it, it, I guess they are and this side looks exactly the same so so I'm not really sure exactly what's going on it's like a complete uh, rookie mistake I guess you call it uh, I am new to growing beans and I just assumed because it said bush beans on the package I thought it meant the bush kind not the crawling climbing kind yeah I don't think I have enough to do every single post uh, I might have to come in with uh, sticks later to finish the job but I'm gonna do as much as I can right now and see what I, what I what I can do with the bamboos I have left. So today I'm not using my string. I'm using zip ties today to tie the uh, ex extension of the bamboo. Um, it's these are the best things in the world. Uh, saves you time and once you clip off the extension part, it, it's a nice clean look. Very useful to have. I don't know why I got these this kind. It's it's kind of weird. It's got that little extra thing. I don't have no idea. It's just they're cheaper zip ties, and I've got them somewhere in my garage in the abyss. So so yeah, just zip ties. Very handy to have. I got my first two po uh, bamboo sticks up, but I wasn't recording, so. I only have one bamboo stick left and I need to put cross beams on so to make to give this a little more strength I would need to put one like down here and up here and then going across uh, but like I said I only have one bamboo post left and I really don't want to cut this up to keep them as long as I can so, just means I need to go into the woods and get some more material. Um, I'll be right back. I don't know how long it's going to take. I may take a couple hours, but for you, 
Be a second. Well, it looks like I gotta continue this build another time. Uh, I've run out of zip ties. It would make it very difficult to string anything up, <laughs> tie anything up there. The zip ties make that so much easier to just zip and get tight. So, I'm gonna go get some more zip ties. Uh, I'm gonna go get some more zip ties and continue this build. Don't know when that's gonna be, but I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, I'm back. Uh, it's been two days. <laughs> Since I've uh, started this build, and uh, it's from what I see, from what I can see, from what's grown in the last two days, uh, the uh, Cherokee, the yellow beans are definitely climbers, and the green beans, I think they're just bush beans. Show you what it looks like in just last two days, from what it's grown. All right, so my green beans just. I think they're just a lot taller than the beans that I planted last year. Ooh, looks like some of it got a little burnt today, huh? So hot lately, it's been getting burnt. So it's just, it's bushy. It's just, they're just growing a lot taller than I, I expected from last year. So I, that's why I thought they were still, I, I thought that's why I thought they were climbing beans. We figured, realized these are climbing, the, Green beans are climbing uh, bush beans, but I'm pretty sure the uh, Cherokee wax beans are they're climbing be beans. They're not. Look at the vines growing right here, and that's definitely a climber. So I'm glad I'm making this trellis now. It's just, just going to be a climbing on one side. That's it. So yeah, it's just oh, oh it's so hot this morning with the. Pigs. I, I, I gave up after I moved the pigs and weed whacked. It was in the mid 90s today and oh, I'm just not ready for it yet. Whew. But uh, it's, it's cooling off now. It's probably low 90s, maybe in the 80s now. So, and I got more. I went out and got some more zip ties. These zip ties are just making it a lot easier. Yeah, I want to get this done. That's pretty rickety, ricky dicky. But the main structure is up. That's what everything's gonna be holding up to. Oop, look at that. Totally forgot to tie it down to the cross beam. Gotta get that. All right, so everything is kind of shaky right now, as you can tell. Just, and that's not gonna hold up once if the plants get real tall and all that weight. So I'm gonna put. I'm putting these cross members on and that uh, you know uh, gives it more strength and kind of makes it more rigid uh, excuse me son let me finish putting that up and I'll show you how well it holds up hi dada hi what are you doing dada building more trellis Let's 
I saw a bee spider, I said. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's... I'm gonna have to look for a lot more posts, but uh, because of that, it's a lot more sturdy. If I had one more bamboo stick, I could put it across here and that would really make it stronger, but unfortunately, that's my last long piece of bamboo, so I gotta go find more sticks. So, and you don't have to do every single one. I'm gonna put one on each end and then maybe one in the middle, and I think that would be. Uh, I think that would give it enough strength. So let me uh, go get some more supplies out of the woods and then I'll be back. So I got my five pieces I need to make cross members. So strengthen my trellis. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna do it in the on the third one right there. So uh, I'm putting a point to the... So I could drive them into the ground. So I gotta do that to all five of them. So, well, four of them now, so. Let me quickly get that done and get this done because it's getting dark. All right, now I'm gonna quickly get them in the ground zip tie them up together and hopefully it gives us gives it pretty much uh gives it a lot of strength because like i said if once the beans start climbing there's gonna be a lot of weight so it needs to be able to hold that hold up It looks a little crummy, but it's strong. That's there. I mean, I might have to add to these, but no, nah, I don't think so. So yeah, looking pretty good. Sticks back there are pretty tall, but hey, I think it's gonna work. Oh. You just see that the this way is fine. Doesn't go anywhere. But this way, uh oh. And add some cross members. I need to add wind braces. Ugh. Alright, here's my solution to that problem. I got two more long sticks. Stuck it into the drove it into the ground. And that solves the problem. I just need to uh zip tie it to there. The tie to here and the same thing over here drove it into the ground here zip tie to this and then there's a Y at the end here that's kind of I don't know how long that's gonna hold but it, it'll hold long enough I think I mean for this to hold up for this this season besides that one now everything is super rigid it's and I can shake it still, but it's not going anywhere. It doesn't have any, a lot of play going this way anymore. So yeah. And that's it. That's... It looks kind of... Looks very rustic. I, I know it's pretty, probably t pretty hard to see with this light. But that's it. So yeah, that's my zip tie trellis for the beans. All right, and head on in for the for the day. And my name is Sang. This is Growing Little Country Homestead. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.